Ancient monuments make this landscape a rare and special place. We are lucky to be able to walk in the shadows of the standing stones and circles. Rare opportunity to peer into the burial cairn and search rocks for mysterious carvings. Do like a good boardwalk. How do you rate this one? Is this in your top ten of boardwalks? So we're going to go check out these ancient monuments that surround this little circuit. So these decorated stones may have been erected 3,200 years ago, about the same time as those in Ballymenoch further down the glen. Three of the stones here have rock art, circular hollow or cup marks and rings. On one side left, these slabs have probably been cut from outcrops decorated one and a half thousand years earlier. So let's go and have a look and see if we can find these circles. I love looking at things like this. Thousands of years of history. No, but it's got this lot. Oh no, it's just crack, I think. Put your hands on that, Jasmine, and just think that's 4,000 years old. Three and a half thousand years. That was put there. Three and a half thousand years ago. And they're all in a line, if you look. <coughs> well, not a direct line, but, you know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey? Yeah. Can you imagine these have been here for like probably like three and a half thousand years. Mm -hmm. So there's an artist's impression. The stone circles connected people with the heavens. So there was originally 22 standing circle stones here in the circle. And now a lot of them have gone. Apparently some of these have got, got carvings in them of the sun. So close to these st stone circles, the two of them, they used to be, well, I don't know if it's still there or not, you can't see them if they are, an archer's grave and a child's grave. You can't find them anymore. Right, Go straight up now to the next one. I'm not interested in that, are you? Like, this is not what I want. Go on, get a drink. He got a drink. He got a drink. Again. Okay. Alright, so we'll check out the nether loggy south cane now. Yeah? Okay folks, this is the Nether Largy South. Many people came together to build it between 5,600 and 5,500 years ago. The tomb was used to house the remains of members of the local farming community who were venerated by their descendants. And there's been a few things found in here. So Canon William Greenwell took three days to excavate the cairn in 1864 and he found many objects relating to the tomb's original use and its later reuse. Some of the artifacts are on display in the Kilmartin House Museum. The 
can No, you don't need to. I need to go through it though. I mean, I, can't, I need to catch it. I don't know if there's any writing outside of it or not. No. Hello. Oh, there's only one way on my heart. So it does end. You what? Someone's put flowers in here. Hello. So yeah, quite a cool and interesting little place. And it's a nice little circular walk, so I'd highly recommend it. One of the other standing stones is in that field over there you can't actually access. So you can access three out of the four. So yeah, I'm well happy we stopped here. Absolutely beautiful surroundings as well. So this lovely circular route brings you back out on these first standing stones. And then back over the small boardwalk 